market update on the 20th. So I'm gonna start off first. I changed my labeling on this because it's less confusing this way. Um, I had an extended fifth wave, but instead I think it's easier if we just look at it like this. One, two, three, four, five, overall first wave here. A, B, C, second wave right here. I don't really like it that much because the second wave only retraces, doesn't retrace hardly at all, but this is the way I'm looking at it, so we'll keep it like that. One, two, and then one, two, three, four, and then five. Remember that move on, actually that was yesterday morning. We came down here and barely broke these lows by like a cent. Fifth wave right there for the overall third wave. And then... we get this move higher for the fourth wave. So we have um, A, B, C, A, and then we have X, Y, Z, B, and then we have A, B, C is what I'm looking at. Um, let's zoom in here on the five minute time frame and just go over what we see on this fourth wave. This really, I'm gonna call it, it's a really annoying fourth wave. I really don't like trading this today. I had puts, like I said, left going into close yesterday. Took my profit at 385, made some really good money. First two minutes in the market. And then I tried to trade in this move right here, thinking that we were gonna get um, something I think I started buying at like 383.50 and it just kept on going down and I thought I was reading it correctly ended up I was reading it completely wrong and I bought some puts to soften it a little bit but I ended up giving back like I think two-thirds of my gains on this move so I ended up positive on the day but I felt like I lost money today so not the best trading day for me I didn't really like trading this at all and then uh, to make it even worse, if I would have just held on to those calls, we came all the way back up here. So not a good trading day, but um, still, I was profitable, so that's all I care about when it comes down to it. So anyway, uh, we have the third wave ending here. We have A, B, uh, A, B, C, A. So we have A, B, C, A. We know this is ABC corrective move because we take parallel lines. It does not break the outside of them. So we know that is a corrective move. So ABCA, XYZ, B. We know this is also a corrective move because same thing. XYZ, B does not break outside the parallel lines. And people don't realize that is so important. Just using parallel lines is so important because if you're not using those, you might think this is a fourth wave. But you, you know if this is a corrective wave, you know it's going to end after ABC. It's done. And sure enough, we go higher from here. So on this move, we go down to the one minute time frame. We got ABCA, BCA, ABCB. Um, this is a five wave move, second wave, third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave, and the 1.61 fib ends right around there. So we know this is overall ABC for the overall A wave. Looks like it's on a B wave pullback. I'm not going to predict where this will end, but normally it's a 0.38 to 0.5 fibs. So if I had to guess, I would say that we're gonna go down a little bit farther or we're gonna bounce and then do a flat tomorrow. But we're looking at the B wave tomorrow morning and then I'm looking for a move higher. The move higher, I'm looking for probably um, at least 388.50 hit the top of this. Uh, another thing to point out is on this move when I called it earlier, obviously we went past the start of the A wave, this ended up being an expanded flat again. They like to do these expanded flats all the time in the market because it gets people out of their stop losses 
and it still gives them the ability to pump it back up to the top of this range. So we have ABC A, ABC B, expanded flat, does not go past the 1.23 fib. And then we start going up higher again, we have A, B. So I'm expecting a C wave pump to at least 388.53 or to the 1.23 fib at 390.10. There's also potential we hit the bottom of this, 390.26. So that's what I'm looking at right now for the overall, this would be the overall fourth wave. Label it like that. So that would be C, also A, B, C for the overall fourth wave. And then I would be looking for a move down. And one thing to note on that is if we go to the 30 minute time frame, remember the third wave cannot be the shortest wave. And so if we take it from here, 396.02 down to 382.13, that's about 1390. So let's say we come all the way up here to 390.12. We know that the fifth wave cannot go below 377 on the next move lower because the first wave went from 432, I'm sorry, it went from 411 down to 392, so it was 18 points, this is 14 points. This last wave cannot go past 1390 for it to be valid. So I would expect a bottom between 377 and 380 most likely, or it could just come and eclipse the bottom of the overall third wave by a little bit. So we'll have to see what happens with that, but tomorrow basically just looking for B wave and then a C wave, probably into Powell, and then after that, sell off for the last wave down. So how am I playing this uh, today? Considering I didn't trade very well, I sold some puts on SPY uh, going into the close actually. And so those are pretty short term, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I can collect a lot of that premium. And besides that, I might, might buy some calls here. I haven't decided yet because the premium is gonna be more expensive tomorrow going into Powell. And so we'll have to see how that goes. Um, haven't made my mind up on that one yet. But yeah, if you have a pretty good chance to make some pretty good money, if we get a pullback in the morning and you buy calls, get that pump up here to 388.50, you can make some really good money. Um, anyway, going to the VIX, still the same thing, just chopping around. Um, like I said before, it's really unreliable. Still expecting 33 on the move higher. The dollar is still in a holding pattern pretty much. It's moving higher, but it's pretty much been flat for now about seven days. And like I said, the longer this stays flat and doesn't break this high, the more likely I think it is to consolidate lower towards our target of 103 and 104. So look out for that. Um, we'll see how the dollar goes tomorrow when Powell makes his announcement. It's going to be interesting to see what he does. 100 basis points. We're probably going to get a big sell off and uh, we'll see if it goes below my targets of 377, 380. 75 basis points, we might just sell off a little bit and then pump but uh anything less than that would be probably not going to happen so 75 or 100 should be interesting but again i only look at the charts and the charts are saying we go from here to at least 388.50 and then we go down to 377 380. so that's pretty much it uh let me know what you think in the comments please like and subscribe i'll leave the key takeaways in the description and I'll try to make a video midday tomorrow if we get this move higher um, to give you guys an update. So have a good night. Hopefully you make some money today and hopefully you make some money tomorrow. See you tomorrow.